This week's FTR shoutout goes to Lauren Clark. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Hey you guys, it's Future Chris here once again. Before we get into the FTR, sorry for interrupting, but there's kind of some big deal news right now going on. Right now there's a FFT Fluval collab going on for a giveaway for their 207 canister filter. And not just that, although that's already incredible, they're also giving away their brand new state-of-the-art inline clarifier, which is a breakthrough technology that lasts longer than the usual clarifiers and more effective. Now worry not, I'm gonna be doing unboxings and reviews for both of these products, but they have agreed to also give FFT subscribers one giveaway of these two products. These very same, of course not these two because I'm going to have my filthy hands all over them. You guys get a brand new shipped from Fluval and they're giving away both of these as a package. That's amazing. It's around $400 of value here. So make sure to go follow Chris for Thought on Instagram and you can see the latest post that says something like Fluval giveaway in big letters. There will be very clear instructions on how to enter. The official announcement on YouTube doesn't come out until Wednesday so I'm getting you guys in early. I got you homie! Because you guys are my faithful subscribers. Anyways, again, sorry for interrupting this week's FTR. I really hope you guys enjoy this episode. Take it away, Chris. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Chris. That's right. You have a boy. Bet you didn't really know that. Hey, mom. Bet you didn't know you had a son, even though some of you are probably like 10 years younger than me. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. So glad you could make it to this video uh, so you could see Rapashi doing a full vertical. What, you, what are you doing, Rapashi? That's an amazing prehensile tail on this amazing new Caledonian gecko. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Looking at you, guy. <laughs> Just kidding, I love you. Uh, and I miss you. Uh, without further ado, fish tank review. That rhymed. Fish tank review. Oh my. Oh my. There's a lobster in there. Why? Why does the pleco keep staying there? Do you get knocked out? Bruh. What is going on in this tank, my dude? Why is everyone getting stuck? I'm so confused. Why is something like this for sale? Did anyone not think that maybe it could clamp down on the live animals in this tank? I don't know what the pressure is on that, but I'm not so sure that it wouldn't cause actual permanent damage, especially to the pleco. The pleco does have some plating, so I feel better about that. And of course, so does the lobster, the blue lobster. But I feel like I do need to know a bit more details about this. Um, it certainly looks awful, but I just, someone needs to explain what the hell is happening here. Cause nobody was forcing that pleco to go underneath. This is also cursed, but cool. I agree, it's pretty neat, it's pretty cool. You made a setup of Mario in your fish tank. To a degree is cool, but to me, if you separate it, if you had a beautiful gorgeous fish tank and you had some of these Mario setups right beside the fish tank, it would be more clean. The tank does look understocked, but that might be a goldfish up there. So nevertheless, I've seen way worse. We've all seen, <laughs> we've been through way worse than this, so not a bad tank, okay? At the end of the day, unless I'm missing something, you guys can call me out again like you always do. I'll gladly own up to it. Maybe I missed an arowana in there somehow. <laughs> Can't believe Chris missed that arowana at uh, the two minute mark. Speaking of missed fish species, I'm thinking I'm gonna miss like 20 species in here. Okay, let's see what we got so far. First of all, this is sent in by David G from PetsCore.com. If you haven't heard, PetsCore.com is where you can get your fish tanks submitted. It's the new way to submit FTR. It's more efficient for me. Definitely more high of a chance for your pet fish to actually show up in the FTR. And submission tickets are free. You just have to interact with the website a little bit and you'll get enough points to buy them. All right, first I see some, what is that, rams? Might be honey gourami. And I got harlequin rasboras and some other dither fish. So all in all, not bad. If there's some crazy common pleco hiding somewhere in here, my bad. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it, but I think they're quite, I think David is quite an experienced guy. I mean, look at the plant placement. The lighting is very beautiful, dynamic. There are bright spots on top, highlighting the plants, and there are some hiding spots and darker spots on the bottom that make the fish more comfortable. I love it. David, you have outdone yourself. This is a 4.7 out of five. Keep it up. My brother's happy and healthy better. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so glad you clarified that this 
beta is happy and healthy. If you didn't say that, I would have thought this beta lived in too small of a bowl, uh, doesn't have filtration for whatever reason, and looks depressed AF. But since your brother said is happy and healthy, your brother must be right. I'm just kidding. I know you are all so sarcastic. I'm just adding to the sarcasm. By the way, Aquarium Co-op merch, Aquarium Co-op mug, not sponsored, just they're a great company and a great YouTube channel. Go check them out. Also plugging my own merch, which I never really do anymore. This is uh, the Cory Gang merch designed by Silvermane plushies. I got face masks. I got all sorts of cool designs. Go check them out. I thought this was real. I mean, it is real though. What? Those aren't fake. Those aren't fake neon tetras, are they? They're actually in that small little dinky little thing. Of course, this is probably just for photography purposes and they really turned up the saturation because you can't tell me that neon tetras can color up that much in a crappy situation like that, okay? The saturation is turned up all the way in Photoshop for this one. The colors are popping, okay? That's, that's impossible. Karens after they give their beta one gallon instead of 0 0.5 gallons. I am a generous god. Yo, Karens actually do be looking exactly like that. P uh, picture perfect right there. And if they don't look like that on the outside, their personality looks like that. Can we shame aquarium stands? I mean, you can shame whatever the heck you want, man. It's it's up to you. 75 gallon on top of whatever the heck this is. No, for real, What what is this? It looks like it's on top of like three different things. I mean, if it works for you, I guess go ahead. But the stocking too, like is one single bala shark with a Oscar. It's not, it's not the worst we've seen. Uh, usually it's like 200 bala sharks with 500 Oscars in this tank. Talk about not giving an F of where you put your fish tank. I don't know who has it worse, the fish or the hamsters. Wait, wasn't there a channel uh, that put a hamster underwater in a fish tank with its own little tiny little cage. Don't tell me this is the same guy, but reverse. Or like the guy inspired people to do a reverse of that. I mean, can't you just keep both things, but properly at the same time? Like look at that fish tank. It's got like three goldfish in there. And that is maybe a 3.5 gallon. Not to mention it's taking up a lot of space for the hamster. This is why not everyone can handle Inception. They just keep putting things in other things and calling it oh, Inception. Petception. <laughs> Sorry, that's my dumb person impression. Uh, d d what? Hot dogs? <laughs> it's hardly five gallon. Oh man, it wouldn't matter if it was five gallons. Again, this hits me personally now that I own goldfish again. I wouldn't want my babies to be in this crap. And you got a ton of mystery snails too, just adding to the pressure of ammonia buildup. Let me tell you, at first when I got those two uh, orandas that I now have, um, I was reminded and surprised of how dirty goldfish are, okay? After the first maintenance day, I was like, oh boy, these goldfish are dirty. Oh, I do not miss this. Their poops are about like this big and like this thick. I'm exaggerating here, but not by much, okay? The bonus secret comment of this episode is Valisneria. My high school friend's brand new fish tank. I'd say Chuck is happy in his new home. Now, I can't see the whole tank by any means. The tank, uh, after cutting out to the right, could go on forever, maybe maybe a mile. It, ouch. <laughs> Ow. It could go on forever, maybe a mile, you know? It could be the, the world's biggest fish tank, Guinness World of Records. We don't know, but chances are the fish tank is pretty much just this size which is a totally unacceptable size. I know you're new to this college thing, but the best part is it doesn't cost you money. You don't even need to sign up for a course, okay? Just go on Google, free information, just read a little bit. I know people don't like to read nowadays, but hey man, you gotta read when you're in college, okay? You can start by reading an article about fish care. Or go on YouTube, go watch Aquarium Co-op, go watch Green Aqua, go watch whatever. Don't even have to read that much. And maybe Chuck will actually be happy in his better new home. Found this on Etsy with 44 five-star reviews. 44 half gallon all year round fish garden. Where's the garden? That's the water bottle or a mason jar. How did you, s 234 sales? You're kidding me. How much is this? How much profit is that? No, y'all y'all getting scammed out there on Etsy big time bros. Oh man, if you know anyone who's buying stuff like this. Send them this video, tell them off, tell them how stupid they are. I mean, what in the world? Put them right at the windowsill. Now, water takes a while to change in temperature, but not that much. Under the bright direct sun, maybe sometimes even indirect sunlight, they tend to warm up. Bettas are warm water, tropical water, but 
if it goes higher than like 26, 27 degrees Celsius constantly, especially after 30 degrees Celsius, you're looking at a dead fish. Now this reminds me of this one summer, I was collecting snails because I wanted some pet snails with my neighbors. Got the snails, put them in a transparent container, put them outside in the shade. It was a summer, right? So the shade moved and little me did not know, did not know to think that far. Came back to check on them in the afternoon. Guess what? Cooked escargot amazingly tender fresh escargot i'm just kidding we didn't eat them we were sad they were all fried they were brown fried out of their shells cooked by the sun don't do this this is a bad idea okay stay away joe likes fishes sent this in from pets cord my favorite thing about this tank is the split substrate very nicely done i'm not sure what fish that is in the corner there might be a ram maybe a honey gourami. Plants are looking all right. Hopefully those are nutrient rich substrates underneath because these plants look like they suck up a lot of nutrients. Uh, there's an Anubias in the back. Make sure the Anubias roots are not covered by the substrate. You never want to plant Anubias. 3.75 out of five, keep it up. This whole time, I think I've been <laughs> talking to you guys between this tail. Pashi, can you lower this tail please? Thank you. You are so kind, sir. Kyla sent in this tank. Great usage of the stones. There's a temple, there's some artificial stuff here or there, but not a big issue. The fish are definitely healthy, but I do see that there might be a bed of fish. Now those are gigantic, healthy angels. And I feel like you should have left it at that for a centerpiece. I don't know if this tank is calling for a betta fish. Don't know if that's the best thing to do. I feel like it's not. So I'm a little bit conflicted, but you certainly know what you're doing and you seem to take great care and maintenance. So if it works out, hey, who am I to judge? I'm just not too sure about the stocking. Four out of five, keep it up. This tank is sent in by Mason. I love the lighting shooting down. It's just like a highlight of your tank and everything else is a little bit darker and faded into the background. It matches with your dark substrate. Quite a clean scape. Perhaps lacking some more complex hardscape as I only see just this like blocky piece of rock right in the smack dab in the center. Keep it up, Mason. 3.9 out of five. Someone was selling these for Valentine's Day on Instagram. It includes two goldfish and a bowl. Well, I see three goldfish so maybe they got another goldfish to make it a third wheel. This is the problem on Valentine's Day. Never give gifts. Are you sure about that? Actually, not just Valentine's Day, but like Christmas and I don't know, whenever you give gifts, birthdays. Never give them a pet. If you do, make sure they will take care of it. Make sure they know how to take care of it. And yeah, don't make it a surprise. It's not good for the pet, it's not good for anyone. Especially not developing your own personal responsibility. With goldfish, they're super unlucky because going into it, nobody has the mindset that you're taking care of a 15 plus year commitment. Now, if you're buying a turtle, everyone's like, oh, turtles live for a long time. Don't get one unless you're sure you can, you know, sustain the turtle. Now, that's not always the case, but there's way more goldfish out there being abused than turtles because they're also so accessible. Now, in a few weeks, these goldfish are gonna perish, but It'll be the norm because that's what's expected from people. That's the sad part. Nothing's gonna change unless that expectation changes. They don't only live for two weeks. They live for 15 years and they can't live 15 years in something this small. My kidnapper is returning me after listening to me talk about shrimp for two hours. Yeah, that, I guess that's a good tactic. You know, just talk about your hobbies that nobody really cares about. And boy, can people talk about shrimp. Let me tell you. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video. Thank you so much for giving the view time, watching all the way till the end. This really helps out the video and the analytics and this channel. And hopefully this video started off your Monday just right. Now the secret comment of this episode is Amazon Sword. Make sure to look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to get your hands wet.